Good morning, ladies and gentlemen of the fourth estate. How are you doing? Fine. Yeah. Are we that late that you're not responding? Yeah. yeah. Are you hungry? Yeah. yeah. No, we're not hungry. Oh, for thank news. You. Oh, thank you. <laughs> hungry for news. <laughs> hungry for news. <laughs> thank you very much for coming. And uh, I know you're anticipating this. I see Russell and Sadiqa <laughs> taking their eyes out for the news. We. Hello. Attention, please. The, in front here you see the Premier of the province and uh, the MEC for Treasury, Rob Tuli, and the Secretary of the ANC in the province, Soviet Lekhanyani. The, we did this so that we can, if there is a necessity for certain questions to be responded to, as the overall manager of the African National Congress, which is the ruling party in the province, he can be able to respond. But this is a government media conference, so we may want, if it's possible, to confine ourselves to what the Premier will have outlined. We have a statement that the Premier will go through, and then we'll take questions as of necessity uh, from there. Mr. Premier. Thank you, thank you, Kenny. Good, good day, ladies and gentlemen. And once more, our apologies for keeping you waiting. It, is not, it was not our intention to do so. But as you would note, that in most instances, when you have this kind of things, you've got so many meetings to, to, to attend to for consultation purposes because uh, we are a democracy. Our apologies for that. Ladies and gentlemen, in June 2018, we commissioned a forensic investigation into investments that were made by the municipalities in Limpopo with the VBS Mutual Bank. The investigations were led by the Limpopo Pro uh, Provincial Treasury and were in line with Section 13.1 A and B of the Municipal Finance Management Act, as well as the Municipal Investment Regulations. These investigations followed the discovery of alleged unlawful investments and subsequent investigations of the municipalities in question by the South African Reserve Bank. These municipalities were or are Bembe District Municipality, Makado Local Municipality, Collins Chavani Local Municipality, Fitahum Greater Tubas Local Municipality, Lepelle Nkumpi Local Municipality, Ephraim Morale Local Municipality, Greater Giani Local Municipality, Elias Mutsualedi Local Municipality, Makudu Tamara Local Municipality, and Polokwane Municipality. Investigations with regard to the Capricorn District Municipality and Tulamela have not yet been concluded. The terms of reference for this investigation were to determine from 2014 to date the investment made by the municipalities with specific reference to the amounts invested the investment period, the interest earned or accrued on the investment, the balances due by VBS Bank 
to individual municipalities to determine whether that all municipal officials and political office bearers interviewed admitted knowledge of the Municipal Finance Management Act, the Municipal, uh, manage, uh, uh, the, the, the municipal Structures Act, and the Municipal Systems Act. All the municipalities had cash management and investment policies as required by Section 13 of the Municipal Finance Management Act. The policies did not, in various respects, comply with the municipal investment regulations. In particular, there was material non-compliance with Regulation 4, which sets out the, the core elements required in an, in an investment policy. Despite the non-compliance, the policies were tabled and approved by various councils. The investment of all individual municipalities were made in contravention of Section 7.3b of the Municipal Finance Management Act. In particular, by having bank accounts and investment accounts with an institution which is not registered as a bank in terms of the Banks Act 94 of 1990. The investments of all the individual municipalities with VBS Mutual Bank were made in contravention of Regulation 6 of the Municipal Investment Regulations, in particular by investing with an institution which is not registered as a bank in terms of the Banks Act. The investment with, with the VBS Mutual Bank were made in contravention of the specific cash management and investment policies applicable in the individual municipalities. That the various municipal, municipal managers and acting municipal managers committed financial misconduct in terms of Section 17211 of the Municipal Finance Management Act. Recommendations and actions taken per municipality. Bembe District Municipality. In fact, I should say in all these municipalities, it is recommended that disciplinary action be taken, be considered against the municipal managers in terms of Section 17.1 of Municipal Finance Management Act, that they contravene the provision of the Act, fail to comply with the duty imposed by a provision of this Act, and made or permitted or instructed another official of the municipality to make an irregular expenditure. It is recommended that disciplinary, disciplinary action 